Welcome back to another great VSPM. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. Let's get right into it. Calling out our party animals. Homecoming is just two weeks away. The semi-formal dance is on Saturday, September 30th with a the theme of Arabian Nights. Tickets are on sale this Monday. Cash prizes are 15 with ASB and 18 without. Car card prices are 16 with ASB and 19 without. All tickets purchased at the door will be $5 more. Take a magic carpet ride to the dance floor and have some fun. The dress up days for Homecoming Spirit Week are as follows. Monday, USA out. Tuesday, Tiki Tuesday. Wednesday, Barbie vs. Camp. Thursday, Holiday Wars. Friday, Falcon Spirit. Wear your brown and gold. Make sure you dress up and show your school spirit. The Powder Buff football game will take place Wednesday, September 27th. Come support your Lady Falcons. For those who wish, uh, wish to participate in Powder Puff, forms are due in room 200 today. There will be a mandatory meeting at lunch in room 501. Our very own Eliana Berber got a great interview with Mr. Chris Knowles, our new activities director. Let's take a look. Hi, I'm Eliana Berber, and I'm here with... Chris Knowles. All right, and do you have any previous experience of being an athletic director? Yeah, actually I have. Uh, this is my 13th year as an athletic director. So I was 11 years at Sandpoint High School and one year at Bonners Ferry High School prior to that. So this is my 13th year. Okay, what would you say is the hardest part of this job? I think the hardest part of this job is, is just how big it is, how many different working things are going on, how many buses, how many parents, how many things you have to deal with, just how big it is. But it's a really, really good job. And what makes you the right fit for Valley View? I think my experience, the fact that I've done this a really long time, it's actually my 25th year in education, whether it's coaching high school, coaching college, or being an athletic director. So lots and lots of experience. And what's your top priority for the school year? I think my number one top priority is to get to know all of you guys and get to know all the staff and get to know the community um, and see if I can add a little bit to the culture here at Valley View. And what are you enjoying about your job so far? Oh, so far the best part is the people, is getting to know the kids and getting to know the staff and getting to know the community, um, the Southern Idaho Conference and all the great schools in our region. All right, thank you. Wow, that's a great interview, Eliana. <laughs> Homecoming is coming up soon. If you like to vote for your Homecoming Royalty nominations, don't forget to check your emails or, or for the surveys. Make sure to fill them out before 3.15 p.m. today. Turn them in to decide your HOCO nominees. Today, Valley View's band is performing their whole halftime show tonight at the football game. Make sure to come and support your fellow Falcons. All right. For volleyball, last night, the girls' volleyball team went up against Emmett High School away game. They won in the fourth set with Valley View 3 and Emmett 1 with a final score of 25 to 22. Good job, Lady Falcons. And now for girls soccer, JV came up short and lost 0 to 2. But our varsity took the dub with a, store, with a score of 2 to 1. Go out and support our Lady Falcons at their next game. This Monday, varsity girls and boys will be having a Jerome invite match. It will take place at Jerome at 9 a.m. Good luck to our Falcon golfers. For cost crunchy today, they are having the Danny meets to, uh, at Canyon Springs in Twin Falls. Good luck, Falcons, and run your best. Valley View Wrestling will be ha hosting their very first fall festival. The fall festival will be include dinner and an action fundraiser at Williamson Vineyards on September 23rd. All Valley View staff are invited, and tickets are $50 each. Make sure you get one before they are gone. Valley View freshman football faced a tough game against Columbia last night, losing 16-19. Both quarterback Elijah Daniel and running back Micah Johnson left the game for minor injuries, eventually returning. With a score 0 to 13 in the third quarter, Damian Holgan scored a touchdown, making it 8 13. Falcons scored the second touchdown, making the score 16 to 13. However, Columbia fought back, and the final score was 16 to 19. Our Frost team lost a hard fought game against Columbia at home with the uh, with the final score being 16-19. Yesterday, our JV football team scored the first touchdown at Columbia. The football score, uh, the first score was 18-12 to with the win going to Columbia. And Varsity is having their first home game tonight. Kickoff is at 7 and the theme is Minions. Fill in the stands and let's get our group beyond. This Friday, September 15th, Value Merchandise will be at the Varsity football game selling Valken gear. 
order forms or are available in the main office if you would like to order in advance. That's all for today, Falcons. And remember, have a great weekend. Don't forget to check our Instagram and TikTok. And, and remember, remember, no PDA. Yay.